All right, what's going on, y'all? And so far, the Rams have uh, training camp is underway. 2022 training camp is underway. It's been a few days. Uh, and there's been some uh, some things going on. Some things going on so far. It's mostly kind of, I'm getting a vibe where it's mostly just kind of, uh, you know, them in, installing game plans. Uh, well, not necessarily game plans, but installing like their... Uh, the playbooks, the formations, the assignments, this, that, and the other, you know, keep keeping it simple, you know, which is to be expected in the beginning of camp. You know, you don't want to overload the guys right off the bat. You know, we got a lot of new people uh, coming on board and you kind of want to integrate them as, as, um, as, as, as smooth as possible. I, I, I think would be the best way to describe it. You know, you don't want them getting too confused. You don't want them um, losing any kind of confidence or not playing as hard as they can possibly play because maybe they're not understanding something uh, that they should be. You know, and the best way to avoid that is to keep things simple, uh, uh, especially in the beginning. So... That uh, seems to be what the Rams are doing. It they're keeping it simple, which I think is the correct move uh, from from an outsider's perspective. Uh, but with that, um, Darion Kendrick, our uh, our rookie defensive back that we drafted from uh, Georgia, the Georgia Bulldogs, uh, has impressed so far, and not just him, but a lot of the other defensive backs as well. Apparently. Like Durant's doing good. I heard Russ Yeast has had a good like pass breakup, um, you know, and uh, it, it, it's. I, I think we may have got a. I think we got a good group here, a good young group. And Kendrick is someone I've been particularly interested in, and I, I just kind of have this feeling that he's going to be really, really good for us. All right, he's from the SEC. Georgia, they have a bunch of solid defensive players, and I just feel like this type of play, I feel like he's just going to fit like a glove. I really do. As long as he maintains his work ethic, you know, learns his assignments, build, builds the rapport with his teammates and his coaches, I think he's going to do just fine. And it would appear so far he's been doing well. So let's go ahead and see what... uh see what this has to say here uh darion kendrick was the third of four secondary players drafted by the rams uh but after just a couple practices he's making an early impression in camp uh the rams have been able to identify identify players in the later rounds of the draft that are capable of contributing in the secondary and kendrick could join a list set uh, a list of jordan fuller nick scott and Robert Rochelle. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a surprise. And Robert Rochelle, I heard, is doing quite well too so far. So that's, that's a good thing as well. Uh, it wasn't necessarily a surprise to see Kendrick fall to the sixth round of the draft at Georgia. He played on defense that featured five players drafted in the first round in 2022. Uh, and the Kobe Dean, who fell to the third round, uh, plus the Kobe Dean, who fell to the third round but was considered a first-round talent, but had some injury concerns. That kind of blows. That blows, but it is what it is. It's possible that historically, this historically talented defense concealed the cornerback's flaws, or perhaps he was just as talented without the name recognition. That was another thing, too. Um, Georgia had a hell of a defense, and... A lot. Some people thought maybe uh, Kendrick was kind of a beneficiary of it without contributing much of his own. I do not really think that was the case, but that's what some people think. Uh, one of the biggest knocks on Kendrick's scouting report was that he seemed to lack the top-end speed to run with NFL receivers down the field, and he failed to answer those concerns during the draft process. It's only two days. But Kendrick may be on his way to may be on his way to proving that this was not a fair criticism of his game, as he's been keeping up with one of the fastest receivers on the roster, 
Uh, Tutu Atwell. Okay. And Tutu is very fast. You know, I have my doubts about Tutu, and I have gone into this before, but um, maybe he'll prove me wrong, but I have my doubts. But one thing I will say about the man is he is very, very fast. So if Kendrick is keeping up with him, uh, that is, that's, that, that looks good for Kendrick because it shows that he does have that speed, which is crucial as a defensive back. You don't want to get torched and not, uh, not be able to close the gap. Here's Jordan Rodriguez um, with a little tweet here. He said he, she asked Nick Scott about some of these battles today and a grin spread across his face. Uh, Darion Kendrick cited another play he made on a jump ball to Robinson and added that rookie Kendrick has already come out of his shell. How interesting. Uh, there was a, evidently a really deep pass to Atwell from Wolford, uh, and Atwell had a step on Kendrick and would have been a touchdown, but uh, high effort play from Kendrick, who closed to the catch point, it helped knock the ball incomplete instead. I love to hear that. Love to hear that going going balls to the wall in practice. The good, good, good. This is what I want to hear. While it's not fair or wise to put too much stock in only a couple days worth of practices, true. It's encouraging to see Kendrick work towards shedding one of his reported weak spots as he transitions to the pro game. It's important to keep in mind that defenses usually have the upper hand in the early days of camp, this is also true, and that the preseason will likely be a stronger indication of any material development. Yep, yep, all correct. But Les Snead has struck gold in the later rounds of the draft before, and it wouldn't be surprising to think he's done it again. Darion Kendrick has impressed during the first two days of Rams training camp, and he's a name to watch over the coming weeks. Could he carve out a role in the Los Angeles secondary for the 2022 season? Time will tell. And Kendrick, after being named the Orange Bowl defensive MVP, uh, University of Georgia gave me a chance and I'm giving them all I got. I love, love, love that attitude. So, good to hear that he's doing well. Uh, like it said in the article, it is important to just... just it's only been like been like three, four days of camp, okay? It's only been a few days. It is true that the defense generally has uh, the upper hand in the beginning stages because this is when uh, the offense is generally trying to implement their offense, trying to get back on page. You know, everyone's trying to get the chemistry with each other. Uh, and the defenses generally have the edge during this time frame. So... This is true, but the fact that he's playing well so far, that he's already immersing himself into the defense, learning his assignments, and uh, showing high effort plays on on catching fast wide receivers so far in practice is a good thing. It's good. It's good. Keep keep the high effort plays throughout camp. Make it hard for the coaches to stash you on the practice squad. Just if any advice I would give to him, make it hard. Make it hard on your coaches. Make it hard on your coaches to not put you on the fifty-three. Your goal should be to one to learn to learn the defensive assignments and to Im play well enough in the preseason games, the uh, the couple games that we have, and make yourself stand out in those games and make. Put yourself in a position where the Rams are afraid to put you on the practice squad because you had done so well in the preseason that some other team might come and scoop you up. It happened last year with Bryce Perkins, our third string quarterback. It, it seemed like we were about to put them back, put him back on the practice squad because the Rams have historically been known to keep two quarterbacks, but he played so well in the preseason that the Rams were afraid to put him back on the practice squad because he probably would have been scooped up by one of these other teams. And I think that's what would have happened 
had they done that. So instead, they put him on the roster. And Dar- that, that's what you need to do, Darion. You need to make the Rams afraid to put you on the practice squad because another team might scoop you up. You have to stand out in these preseason games. And if you keep keep on your grind, you keep uh, working as, as, as you've been working so far, it sounds like you're doing good. Just keep it up, and you'll be all right. You'll be all right, for sure. I, I have a good feeling about Darion. I think he's going to be good for us. I really do. And something you should know, all these defensive backs will, like, I think all of our defensive backs had ample amounts of playing time in games last season. So if you're on the roster, you're going to see the field. So keep that in mind. Make sure you're ready and, and just get after it. So that's going to be it for now, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.